When we wanted to develop a vocational tech award in digital information technology, we were challenged to avoid overlap with GCSE computer science and we were also challenged that it must not overlap with key stage three elements. We managed this, but it, it wasn't straightforward. DIT leans on key stage three prior learning of digital skills and, and takes these further, helping the student to become more of an informed rather than a passive user. Computer science is, struck, is stressing the actual building and creating of new technology, but DIT and its vocational nature is helping students gain skills that will be really relevant for the workplace in all sorts of fields when they go on uh, in their career. So DIT uh, looks at interfaces and project management in component one. Component two is a wonderful dip into the world of data and the power of data in today's world, which is going to be a really enriching experience, hopefully, for your students. Component three is a straightforward exam assessment. So we really feel confident that uh, the Vocational Tech Award in Digital Information Technology will be a great place for all those students to go who won't want to do computer science GCSE. In our offering for Key Stage 4, we feel that we've completely covered the span from the highly technical computer science content for the students that are academic and ambitious to, to go into computer science, and then the more vocational uh, DIT, which is offering them a simple structure with more interesting, say, uh, vocational elements to, to what they're doing. 60% internally assessed, and 40% uh, by exam. So we really feel that across the range of students in Key Stage 4, we have something to offer in the digital uh, qualification area for all of your students.